Last night we relieved our Vice President of Football Operations and General Manager Brennan Tamman and our Head Coach Corey Chamberlain of, of their duties. These are uh, never easy decisions or changes, but these changes were necessary for us to move forward towards our vision of sustained success on the field. This club has high expectations and we clearly have not been meeting them. As a result, wholesale changes were required. I want to thank Brendan Tamman and Corey Chamberlain for their tireless efforts for this organization. They played a major role in one of the high points in this franchise's history as we celebrated our fourth Great Cup on home turf at Mosaic Stadium. They are both true professionals and will be very successful in the future. I'd like to con congratulate Jeremy O'Day and Bobby Dice on their interim roles. Both are great leaders and will excel in their roles as we turn around on the field and build for future sustained success. Thank you, and, and we'll take any questions. Why did you fire You know, there's, there's never one, one reason, Warren. You know, obviously it was a, a number of, of factors. Um, you know, the reality is we're in a results-oriented business. We're 0-9 uh, this season. Uh, we're 2-15 and 15 over the last 17 games, and, and there's shared responsibility there. But obviously, um, you know, being a general manager, um, there's, there's lots of aspects to that role. There's, there's roster management, there's salary cap management, there's, there's overall leadership. And I think just speaking quite frankly, we had some concerns in some of those areas and we, we felt the best we should move forward in a different direction. Most organizations give a general manager a second chance to hire a coach. Uh, did you consider giving him that opportunity? Yeah, absolutely. You consider all the options when you're in this um, situation. Uh, certainly I considered that. Um, you know, you're, you're right, that, that probably is a norm, but um, as, I, as I just said, um, there were some concerns there as a new president and CEO. You know, you're constantly evaluating th everything, and, and I felt uh, we need to move in a different direction, we need a different voice. Craig, what were some of those things that you didn't think Brendan Tammy could have that sustained success going forward? Well, you know, I, I think some of it was around, um, I guess, overall leadership of the, of the, of the football operations area, um, f for sure. That, that, that's the number one uh, goal, and... and and responsibility of our vice president of football operations and, and general manager. So, um, you know, obviously, I, I think we need to, uh, a bit be a bit stronger there. Um, and I think some roster management and salary cap. Um, we were restricted in some of the things we were able to do as an organization, and so those were those are primary reasons. Craig, did Brendan at all uh, in the last month uh, request to fire head coach Corey Chamberlain? No, no. Um, obviously, um, following uh, our, our game in, on Sunday. Uh, Brent and I, I met, as we always do on, on Monday, and uh, I think we were aligned that we needed to uh, make a change with our, with our head coach. Um, and then it, it fell to me to, to make a decision as to whether or not we also uh, should be making a change at our general manager position. Bob, who's your quarterback on Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, obviously uh, Jeremy and I uh, will sit and uh, we'll discuss that, but uh, as we go forward, I think right now Brett Smith will be uh, starting at quarterback. What does it mean? that statement as the head coach? Well, obviously, uh, I'm thankful to Craig, the board, Jeremy. Uh, obviously, as a Canadian, I'm uh, humbled to be in the position that I am, uh, To that they uh, considered me to lead what I and many believe to, to be the preeminent franchise in this league. So uh, definitely humbled and uh, thankful. Craig, when you say that uh, you felt Brendan needed to uh, provide more leadership on the football operations side, do you really need to lead Corey a bit? Yeah, you know, ultimately, um, like I said, our, our vice president of football operations is is responsible for um, that entire area. So uh, managing our, our our head coach, and ultimately the results um, that we we achieve on the field ultimately fall fall to our general manager. So so certainly there's there's an aspect of that. Was Sunday's game the final straw in your mind, Craig? Or have you been pondering things? You gave him. Yeah, yeah. You know, and Murray, quite quite honestly, um, you know, we had belief in uh, in Corey uh, to, to try to turn this thing around. Um, what happened, I think, Sunday was uh, the realization that uh, that we weren't going to turn this around unless we made a change. And so, so yeah, I think there was a realization on Sunday that, uh, yeah, no, it, it was in the best interest of this franchise long term to move forward in a different direction. How tough was, uh, Craig, the decision to, to make, let these two guys go considering their contracts were extended? Yeah, you know, you know, the financials didn't didn't play a part into it, to be honest with you, uh, Lee. Um, it's a tough decision. These are these are people that you uh, you you've worked with for a long time. Uh, you know personally, and and they're good.
people and they're good football people. And so th these decisions are never, never easy. And um, this was certainly not an easy decision, but it was the right decision for the franchise long term. Why go with interims? Why? You know, we owe it to this franchise to do a, a full, a full search. Um, uh, I believe that that the general manager job of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders is one of the premier jobs in uh, all the sports, and so I think we owe it to this franchise to do a, a full search, and we'll do a full search at the end of the year. And so we thought it was in the best interest to move forward with a, with interim positions. Jeremy, do you think you're now ready to take on a full time role as a general manager? Yeah, I'm absolutely. Um, you know, obviously, uh, before I get started, I wanted to uh, obviously thank Brennan for everything he's done for me over the uh, the last number of years. He's been uh, a great person to me. Obviously, he's 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 been a uh, a guy that's got me very involved. Obviously, as as, as I shared in prior uh, prior discussions, that he's he's got me over involved with uh, with football ops, and and uh, he's he's kind of taken me under wing and uh, showed me the ropes of being a general manager. And, and I just I wanted to take the time to thank him for that. But uh, as far as myself feeling I'm ready, I'm, I I have a great opportunity in front of me that to, to show that I'm ready. So um, I hope that my actions are going to speak louder than my words are. And I think that I'm prepared and ready to go. At this time, Jeremy, how hard is it to take over an interim role as general manager with NFL custom and you know, the extension of the practice roster? How, how difficult is now to take over the interim role? You know, I, I, obviously uh, it's not best case scenario, but it's a situation that it is what it is. Um, as far as our scouting, it's nothing's going to be uh, affected uh, offhand with that. But most of our, our scouting for, for the NFL camps is – is winding down to be, to be quite honest. Right now, NFL cuts are happening uh, just just as early as yesterday. So um, those will be ongoing. Obviously, we'll I'll, I'll, I'll have uh, some change in a little bit of the direction in that area. But um, those guys will still be working. Uh, we'll make sure that our scouting department's not not affected as far as the work that we're putting into it. Um, with the roster's expansion, we were prepared uh, prior to this decision for the expansion. It's not something that we. Uh, with it being so close that we just started talking about, so we're we're, we're more than prepared for the roster expansion, and uh, obviously we have a game plan of the positions of of uh, that we'd like to to bring in, and and uh, we'll move forward with all those plans. Jeremy, do you have the talent to, to turn this around this year and get some wins? Well, we're I mean, obviously we're going to do. Uh, when, first of all, winning winning is very important. I want to make that very clear. So, um, you know, our our ultimate goal right off the bat is is to win this weekend. So. Uh, we're, we're going into every game to win them, uh, and I do feel that we have the players in the locker room to win football games. There's no doubt about it. Um, I think that obviously when you're 0-9, there needs to be some adjustments. Um, but you know, I have a lot of faith in the guys in the locker room, and I have a lot of faith in the coaching staff that's here. Um, if you look at a lot of our players, we have a lot of all-stars, a lot of top-tier players, and we just need to find a way to get it out of them. So. Um, hopefully, uh, obviously, we're going to have to earn their respect, but they're also going to have to earn ours. And you know, just like anything in, in the world, we're going to have to do it together. And you know, we're, we have a good sports staff, staff around here that we can we can do it. So the answer is yes. I think we can win, and I think we can do it now. And and there's no reason why we can't start winning. Paul, will you be making any changes to the coaching staff? Or will you be moving forward with No, we have no plans to make uh, any changes with the coaching staff. Uh, uh, I think it's a very good group of coaches, as I spoke to them uh, this this morning. Uh, Hardworking, you know, things we have to do better as a group, and uh, we have to lead these men, uh, to, like Jeremy says, towards victories and uh, taking care of Winnipeg this weekend. Uh, will you apply for the head coaching job? Uh, it, it's funny, you know, uh, sound like my sister. My sister always asks me when anytime there's a head coaching job whether you apply for it. It's a, you know, it's a situation that, uh, you know. What I'm looking forward to right now is uh, the opportunity ahead of me. Um, we have a great opportunity uh, right now to change the fortunes of the, this season, and that's what I'm focused on. Will Corey like, move up to special teams coordinator? Will Greg Quick become more involved as a defensive coordinator? Like you know, Greg Quick was hired to be the defensive coordinator here, and uh, that's his role. Um, you know, we're still working through some things on special teams, and uh, we'll go forward. Uh, we'll have a very solid plan. Obviously, a lot, a lot has happened in a short period of time, and uh, and so we're, we'll, we'll go forward and uh, take care of that here quickly. You talked about Canadian background. What prepares you in your football background for this? Maybe you've been paying your dues along the way. Do you have the experience to sort of step into this role? Oh, certainly. Um, you know, obviously, this this is now my 15th year in the CFL. Um, I've worked. Obviously, on offense, I've been an offensive coordinator in this league. I've worked on special teams, and you know, probably the last couple of years on special teams uh, have really helped me um, 
prepare for this role uh, because one thing you do as a special teams coordinator is address the whole team. You know, uh, this year obviously we've had some uh, different injury challenges where we've brought in some new guys, but the one thing with special teams, you have to deal with the new guys right away because those are the guys who are going out, out on the field. So I have obviously I've been in Saskatchewan now here for a while, since 2010, so I, I know the veteran players and uh, I know the new guys. And so I, I feel I have a, a good command of the guys who are here and a good understanding of the, the new guys. So, uh, yes, with the 15 years experience in this league, um, I believe I am very prepared to do this job. they told you, Bobby, that they're tabbing you? Is that the reason they gave you? Is there something else? Well, I think, yeah, I think obviously uh, there was a confidence in the skills that I have. Uh, obviously, Jeremy and I have worked, worked together uh, uh, for for some time, and uh, he knows who I am. I know who he is, and uh, you know this. In some ways, obviously, this was an easy decision. Uh, you know, I, I do have to say, you know, uh, Corey and Brendan are two people I, I respect, have the utmost respect for, and uh, you know, in the four years I worked with Corey, he is. Uh, I've learned more than I probably did in the 11 years, and he, he's done a good job in. Uh, one thing he always wanted to do is grow his coaches and prepare you for your next role. And so in the time I spent talking to him, and then I worked with Brendan for 14 of the past 15 years, and, uh, you know, as you guys all know, he's an extremely solid individual. And sitting down and having the opportunity to sit down and work with him has uh, given me, you know, some of the knowledge that uh, I know that I'll be successful in this role. What's the timeline uh, going forward for... Yeah, no, we'll, we'll hire our, our general manager first and, and we'll start that process right after the season.